Guess who's back? Back again. Joey's back with another video. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back. Um, in this video, because I haven't yet covered it and I didn't want to leave it out, and also, typically, um, a guy on my previous video says, how do you do the Charmed Mobs challenge? And quite frustratingly, I was like, oh my gosh, the one I haven't yet covered, and he asked for it. So here we go. I'm going to quickly show you how it's done. Uh, this is just going to be my way or the highway. I've already completed this challenge, but I'm just going to show you guys how I did it and how you guys can do it too. And it shouldn't really take that long. It might take a few runs. You could actually do it in one run. Let me just check on the hub. Um, so defeat 70 mobs using charmed mobs. When I first saw this, actually, I was a little confused myself. But what I actually did was go to artifacts and use the love medallion. So basically, you're just charming the mobs. You're going to make them love you. They're going to fight by your side and be your allies and attack the other mobs. So this is what I used. I think there might be some enchantments that also help with this. It might help speed things up a bit, but I'm just going to equip it. Quickly go into a mission. Um, but don't go to Moo. So it's mobs. So don't go to Moo. Um, where did I do it? I probably did it in Cacti again, actually. Um, maybe Creeper Wood. No, you could do Creeper Woods. Basically, a level where there's going to be a lot of mobs. We are going to go to. Is there anywhere I need to go? I still. Oh, defeat Necromancers. Ah. I still have to do that one. Oh my gosh. So, just for the purposes... Uh, purposes? For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to quick, quickly do a demonstration of what I mean. Oops. I just used it already. Let's go! Oh, activate the uh, podium, whatever it is. So... I actually don't know what a mob is, but I'm just going to press X and you see now the mobs or the enemies are now attacking each other. So this is all I did. And after a little while, I got the challenge completed. Oh. Again, it also helps to have the enchantment. Let me just show you. You see how the cooldown of my artifacts so quick. That is because my ember robe reduced artifact cooldown. So it's always worth noting to try and find armor. Or again, I think it's armor that has this kind of, um, yeah, thingy upgrade. Um, so look out for that. Let me just check other armors. Other robes. Mm. Oh, there we go. 40% artifact cooldown. So, again, I think it's just the robes. Equip a robe. Oh. So, another... Mm. Luckily, this has the 40% artifact cooldown, but it also has reduced artifact cooldown, so it's even quicker. But 40% off is still a good deal. So it actually makes it much quicker for you guys to complete the challenge if you have that upgrade. You know what I'm saying? So find a crowded area with a lot of mobs. Again, use an easier difficulty so you're not going to die so easily. To be honest, I think Cacti Canyon is probably... Look at all these mobs! Just keep using it here. Oh, 
It's so crowded. There you go. And that's about it. I don't need to continue because, like I said, I already completed the challenge. But that is basically it. Use the Love Medallion. And it's only 70 mobs, so you'll get it done quick and easy. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do leave a thumbs up. Would really appreciate it. Go and check out my Minecraft Dungeons Season 2 playlist. This will be added to it. There are other videos on there as well. Don't forget to check out the description. There's a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of links to all my socials, Twitch, Instagram and all that stuff. And Discord. If you have Discord, come and join us. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Appreciate it again. Thank you all very much. Good night. God bless. <laughs> see ya.